No, we're not talking about that other, similarly named movie with Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons hustlers will blow you away. We're a family now. Damn. A family with money! For this list, we're taking a look at why this crime drama has generated so much positive buzz coming out of the Toronto International Film Festival. Number 10. It's an absorbing true story. Hustlers tells an engrossing tale of retribution, greed, and sisterly love, and the fact that it was inspired by actual events makes the movie all the more enthralling. Journalist Jessica Pressler provided the film's basis with her 2015 article, The Hustlers at Scores. As detailed in Pressler's piece, Hustlers centers on a group of strippers who resort to drastic measures in the wake of an economic disaster. Attracting and drugging men in bars, the women milk their targets until their credit cards run dry. And although some of the names have been changed, the film remains mostly faithful to Pressler's article and what actually happened. In some ways similar to 2017's Molly's Game, it's one of those movies where you need to constantly remind yourself that this is a true story. Read to me what it says at the top. United States of America versus Molly Bloom. Number 9. It's Complex Characters It would have been easy to depict the main characters as Robin Hood-type figures who simply rob from the rich and give to the poor. But what makes Hustlers far more interesting is that nobody's completely innocent. After years of being objectified and degraded, it's perhaps easy to understand why the dancers would turn to crime. Sticking it to the man is just an added bonus, especially since the guys they go after aren't exactly saints. These Wall Street guys, you see what they did to this country? They stole from everybody. Hardworking people lost everything. That said, by this film's close, their own criminal records aren't exactly clean. And then there's Julia Stiles' character, a reporter named Elizabeth who, much like the audience, is torn between being shocked and being able to identify with these anti-heroes. And when would you say that things got out of control? Number 8. It's arguably the best exotic dance movie ever. Between striptease and showgirls, we've yet to see a truly compelling movie that revolves around the world of exotic dancing. And I don't know what it is you're good at, but if it's at the cheetah, it's not dancing, I know that much. Hustlers succeeds where its predecessors failed, in part by not putting too much emphasis on the actual dancing. Unlike striptease, the humor doesn't clash with the hard-hitting moments. And unlike showgirls, the film isn't purely an exercise in trying to shock the audience. When I was a kid, I always wanted to work with animals. <laughs> I was close. Hustlers captures both the glamour and the occupational hazards that come with this particular line of work. While certainly not without its steamy moments, it's much more about the backstage drama and the power of friendship through the hard times. These characters, their struggles, and their relationships are fully fleshed out. You know Diamond from the Bronx, right? What's up, baby? We're gonna help her learn how to do a, a real dance. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm good at that. Number 7. It's surprisingly funny. It may be a crime drama, but Hustlers offers a refreshing sense of humor reminiscent of the 80s comedy 9 to 5. I'd just like to apologize to you. Oh, don't you worry about it, Mr. Hart. I've been chased by swifter men than you, and I ain't been caught yet. Every key player has a well-defined personality, and the chemistry between the cast couldn't be more natural. You know, Tony wouldn't let this happen. I'm gonna text him. Who gave her her phone back? So when you throw them into an over-the-top scenario, like trying to perfect a drug formula, the jokes practically write themselves. Some of the film's funniest moments come right out of real life, too. It's especially hilarious when the characters' schemes inevitably start spiraling out of control, forcing everyone out of their comfort zones. But even when the humor is at its darkest, the film respects its main characters and doesn't turn them into the butt of the joke. Please help! This is my husband! <laughs> Number 6. It's an original take on con artist movies. Going into Hustlers, you might expect a more traditional con artist flick a la Ocean's 8. So go home, get your affairs in order, because tomorrow we begin pulling off one of the biggest jewelry heists in history. The characters and their environment, however, make for a crime story that stands out from all the rest. The women in this film make a living pretending to be attracted to sleazy men. The game is rigged, and it does not reward people who play by the rules. So once they make the leap to hustling, they already have some of the key skills needed, which is part of what makes this such a unique approach to the heist genre. For years, they've been underestimated by men who only take notice of their bodies. But now they're using this blind spot to their advantage, 
giving Wall Street moguls a taste of their own medicine. What if somebody calls the cops? And says what? Woo! I spent $5,000 at a strip club, send help. Number five, Lorene Scafaria's direction and screenplay. From book smart to late night, 2019 has been another strong year for movies helmed by female directors. Oh, you must be McCleary. Oh, wow. You're fired. Lorene Scafaria continues this hot streak with Hustlers, which is driven by her eye for style and witty dialogue. Scafaria made her feature screenplay debut with Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, and her directorial debut with Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. I just broke up with someone. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I mean... You know, it was building to this. While neither of those films made a huge dent at the box office, both established her as an inventive storyteller, with a knack for creating colorful characters. Scafaria's trademarks are on full display here, but Hustlers is also a showcase for her range as a filmmaker. She's made a smart, original, and stimulating thriller that's 100% her vision. You want them drunk enough to get their credit card? But sober enough to sign a check. Number four, it earns comparison to classic crime stories. Before Scafaria landed the gig, the top choice to direct Hustlers was Martin Scorsese, which shouldn't come as a shock because the film parallels some of Scorsese's finest works, like Goodfellas, Casino, and The Wolf of Wall Street. Hustlers unveils the highs and lows of a shady underground world. On one hand, we know that the characters are crooks and shouldn't necessarily be admired. But it's like robbing a bank, except you get the keys. Are you in? At the same time, we're strangely drawn to the glory, the riches, and the power that comes with their business. As is the case with most of Scorsese's protagonists, however, greed always comes at a price. The film's commentary on the 2008 financial crisis also invites comparison to The Big Short, which also makes sense since that movie's director, Adam McKay, is a producer here. Let's get on this quickly, too, because if he's right, every loser with a couple million bucks in a fund is going to be jumping on this. Let's go. Number three, it reflects modern times. Although the film sets itself between 2007 and 2014, Hustlers hasn't lost any of its relevance in today's world. I don't want to be dependent on anybody. I just want to be able to take care of my grandma, maybe go shopping every once in a while. Even if you're not exactly up to speed with the sex industry, countless women can relate to the hardships the characters endure here. Despite being the ones who bring in all the money, they find themselves giving away a hefty portion of their paychecks to the men in charge. My 40% is 160. Tired of being undervalued, they decide to rewrite the rules of the game. Now more than ever, people are starting to wake up and take notice of the unfair treatment towards many women in the workplace. And this movie shows that if women aren't going to be treated as equals, the system can no longer expect them to remain quiet and play nice. So the guy went back three more times. Guess he must have liked it. <laughs> Number two, it's empowering female-led ensemble. The success of a movie like this largely hinders on its casting, and Hustlers assembles a foolproof crew. These are my coworkers. Jobs, please! Fresh off the success of Crazy Rich Asians, Constance Wu heads this female ensemble piece as Dorothy, also known as Destiny. While Wu brings her signature comedic chops to the role, she also exemplifies a grittier side we haven't seen before. Kiki Palmer of Scream Queens and Lily Reinhardt of Riverdale score some of the biggest laughs as newbie dancers Mercedes and Annabelle. And we even get solid performances from musicians Lizzo and Cardi B. Cardi actually used to be a dancer in real life. It was very specifically these actors. It, it, it wasn't just a, a, a certain collection. It yeah. was very specifically this group of people behind me, very specifically. Uh, I wrote the parts for Lizzo and Cardi and Trace. While Hustlers is a significant push for diversity in Hollywood, it makes its mark by being a standout movie first and foremost. Is he dead? <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jennifer Lopez Jennifer Lopez's acting career has had its low points. It's turkey time. But she totally owns the screen and the pole in Hustlers. As Ramona Vega, Lopez turns in her most layered and passionate performance since Selena. He cares about me. The real me. Inside. And there is no way 
I'm gonna let you take that away. On stage, Ramona is a desirable goddess who can entrance anybody with a beating heart. Behind the scenes, she's a caring friend who's every bit as motivated as the Wall Street clients who throw dollar bills at her. Front hook, ankle hook, knee hook. Come here, you can do the carousel. Just switch. In fact, Ramona would have surely made a great Wall Street employee in another reality. Lopez strikes just the right balance. And just as Lady Gaga conquered the awards season with her role in A Star Is Born, we wouldn't be surprised if Lopez's performance resulted in an Oscar nomination. Say, so is it nerve-wracking to know that there's some Oscar buzz around it for your role? I, know, I don't even, I, you know, I love, I have been hearing it, and of course yeah. people have been telling me, but uh, you know, and, and, listen, it's flattering, but I, I don't get my hopes up. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.